The WBT is a new and revolutionary concept in RF measurement devices. The WBT is a wideband RF recording and playback system capable of recording up to 50 megahertz of spectrum, anywhere from 50 megahertz to 4.4 gigahertz. With the WBT, you capture the raw RF as it's transmitted over the air. Specifically, the RF energy is I and Q sampled at a rate at or above the Nyquist criteria and the digitized spectrum is stored to a solid state hard drive with no loss in fidelity. With those recordings, you are able to go back in time and recreate the RF that was recorded at an exact RF match. In other words, we match the input power with the output power. Of course, if you need to, you may add gain to your output signals. This enables users to capture what is in the field, for example at a known problem spot, and then take it back to a lab for further analysis. The user interface is very intuitive. The product was designed to mimic conventional test and measurement equipment and is therefore very straightforward for use from inexperienced technicians to experienced lab engineers. It's very easy to use. You simply input the center frequency and the span or bandwidth you'd like to capture. Then using the industry standard interface, press the record key. The file can be manually named or the unit will automatically name the file for you based on the date and time of capture. With the digitized RF capture, a record of the center frequency and span is also maintained in the file along with other useful metadata about the state of the system during recording. This allows for convenient recall of the capture data. We like to call the WBT an RF time machine. So at any given time, we can go back to previously collected data files, select those files, and then play them back. When we connect the WBT output to any other RF device, the other device will measure those signals coming from the WBT just as if they were being measured live at the time and location the recording was made. The file I'm going to play for you now was collected in November from a well-known satellite radio service. The news you will hear is from that day. Notice how there is no reception for that service in this building. However, when I begin playback, you will see the receiver lock onto that signal and demodulate it as if it was received off air. Play effect flight out of those two cities. Give yourself plenty of time as always. All right, Martin Savage, thanks so much. This Sunday marks the busiest travel day of the year for flyers. I know I've said that before, but they're saying again some two and a half million people. This recording was made Tuesday, November the 26th, the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. I can choose any channel I want and play it back. My receiver doesn't know that it isn't being received live. Control tower, we're giving you a rare glimpse into a world where everyone is going. Their, their strategy, uh, one, they, they have to make the, help, the healthcare.gov actually work and function, and that still remains to be seen. But even if it does work, the trinity of lies that he told to pass this thing still apply. I mean, a lot of people are still going to get canceled, a lot of people are going to pay more, and a lot of people aren't going to be able to... Okay, all right, Larry, you get that, let's suppose you get that judgment. You get the injunction. You know that the administration will appeal it, and it'll go up the chain. For more information about WBT, please visit wbt.qrctech.com.